What can I say? This has been one terrific learning experience for me. In this episode, I'm adding a seventh part to our base install on the Archbang Boot Camp series. I am going to show you where I went wrong and what you can do to get 3D support on your VirtualBox installation of Archbang. And we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, I have discovered some things and I've been uh, looking around and sniffing around. Earlier today I tried to make an episode in Archbang Bootcamp where I was going to install Cinnamon. I couldn't get it to work. And uh, I did some digging around on enabling Direct3D in Arch in VirtualBox as a guest. Okay, And I found some stuff that we need to do to get all of this working or else the party's over. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed here. First, we're going to need to pull up a terminal. First thing we're going to put in is we need to be root. So I'm going to uh, enter root here. And the first command we're going to enter is pacman. S Y U Zorg server. That is Zorg-Server. I hope you're watching this in high def so that you can read what's on the screen. Alright, and if, if it uh, doesn't require any updating, you can skip this part. I'm just going to say yes, go ahead and overwrite it. Next, we're going to put in this command, pacman. S and then Zorg X init. X O R G hyphen X I N I T. I didn't install this before. Alright, and we are going to say yes to that as well. Okay, for this next part, I'm going to go ahead and do everything graphically because there's a larger font and you'll be able to see better what I'm doing. Okay, first, let's go into places, browse here tools and open current folders root. We'll close the standard folder here. Control H to unhide. Alright and then uh, we're going to right click on Xinit RC and open that in leaf pad. Okay and we want to have this line added. Vbox client dash all with an and on it. That's capital V B O X client hyphen all with the and symbol after it included in there. You want that before the exec launch session. Alright, let me close this now. Okay, next, let's look at Etsy RC config. In modules, you want VBox Guest, VBox SF, and VBox Video. Then scroll down, and in Daemons, you want to add this line rc.vboxadd. Okay, and then the next item we need to open up is in bin VBox user bin VBox client all. And this may take a moment for it to load everything that's in here.
okay we're gonna right click and open this in leaf pad what I have done is I have commented out everything and I put hyphen hyphen clipboard at the end hyphen hyphen display hyphen hyphen check host version and then hyphen hyphen seamless just as the documentation shows here and actually I could just right click and copy this from the documentation and paste it as is if I wanted to all right and so we have all of that in there Let me uh, just for neatness all right and then file save All right, and pretty much that is it. All you have to do now is log out and then log back in. And now your VirtualBox guest will have 3D acceleration enabled. Now when you follow my tutorial on installing Compiz as a standalone window manager, it will work. And it will also work if you decide to install Cinnamon, which is what I'm going to do in the next episode because that requires compositing. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will keep you up to date every time I upload a new video. I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, put them down here. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.